two years ago, we purchased some agricultural property to fulfill our dreams of becoming farmers. One of the worst things that could ever happen to real estate happened, and it was called COVID. Real estate market surged, and so did building materials, making it very difficult for people like us to build a home. Luckily, we locked in a pretty good price from a couple years back, but we've been waiting nearly two years for our home to be built. And you know what? We don't want to wait anymore. So I had this awesome idea to purchase a camper. That way, we can start enjoying our farmland now. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is nice. That's a toy hauler. Okay. Yeah, we don't want toy haulers. Oh, you know what? I didn't want to look at one of those guys. What do they call it? Destination trailer? All right, y'all, this is Lainey. If you come to General RV in Dover, Florida, not far from Tampa, ask for her. She She's is the only awesome. one to see. That's right. <laughs> you know, when you're looking up like RVs and stuff on YouTube, chances are 90% of those videos have come from here. Whoa. This is very similar to our color scheme. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. Ooh. So this is, this isn't a fifth wheel. No, this is a destination trailer. Destination trailer. These are made okay. to be pulled around. They're made to be parked and left like a vacation okay. home. It's like a park model. What is the weight on this? Uh, usually they're about 12,000 oh, pounds. Oh, so my truck will more than this. me. <laughs> <laughs> more than me too. Oh, I love this. I love how the TV is in front of the couch. This is nice. You got a nice view of the outside. So it's 40 foot and weighs 11,560 pounds. Oh, uh, this would totally be pulled by my truck. This has an actual nice. walk-in closet. Whoa. And oh, it's a, a closet. king size bed. And a closet. Entrance to the bathroom. Love it. Oh, this is a nice size bathroom. And look, a door for if you want to run away from me in the middle of the night. <laughs> I like I like the exterior door. Now the difference between this and like a regular like travel camper is the ceiling height. Like the seat like this is like an apartment. It's really nice. Big though. Very big. This is probably more than 40 feet, right? It's not what I need. I mean it'll work, but we need kind of like a second bedroom. Here's uh, access to the bathroom as well. Very, very nice. You could live in one of these forever. If I didn't have children, this is it right here. This is awesome. Hey, Lainey, what does this guy go for? Anywhere between 90 to 100 Hot usually. Dang, that's a lot. Dang. Check this out, sliding glass door. Love that. So, so what's, what's the deal one? with this one? So this one's a travel trailer with two full bedrooms. Oh, okay. This has the TV that you don't like. Wait, what's the TV I don't like? Oh, it's off to the side. Okay, this is nice though. I love the colors. So remember we were saying last year, babe, when we were looking at campers? What? Look at this though, look at this. Oh, there's two bedrooms here. Mm -hmm. So I said, when we walked in, I said it says two bedrooms. Okay. They don't be listening. <laughs> and check out this corner cabinet. This is pretty nice. Yeah, it's this a whole is great. Bedroom. Okay. Now the bedroom up front is a little smaller. So this the bedroom has up front doesn't have a slide out. This one okay. has a slide out in the bedroom. That's what I feel like this room. would be like the bigger, like right. this should be the master. Probably is. That is so technically considered the master. Yeah, because oh. you have the bathroom right here. This is nice. And then here is your second bedroom. Very nice. Wow. So about a year or two ago, I was doing a little shopping around for campers like this. And I kept saying the same thing over and over again. They're too dark. The colors are too dark. I wish they'd made brighter colors. They listen to their customers. They're going, I mean, it's kind of the new style right now. White with blacks. That's kind of a color scheme of our house that we're building. Grays. I mean, some neutral colors. Before, everything was neutral colors. Everything was wood colors. A lot of these campers a couple years ago are dark. I mean, there is a small space here. When it's dark, it feels a little bit more congested and smaller white light colors like this feels more open even though these ceilings aren't the biggest you're gonna save a lot of money on a camper like this probably in the forty thousand dollar range maybe thirty thousand dollar range and you could pull this anywhere this guy is pretty big this is a 38 foot camper it's beautiful okay this is called a springdale by keystone keystone makes some pretty fine campers such a pretty day today oh oh what is this so these are considered super light they've got the outdoor tv mount and everything this oh. isn't a fifth wheel. It's no, a. This is a travel trailer. Whoa! A bunch of space in it. This is nice. Oh my god! <gasps> oh, it's got that front kitchen. Yeah. No TV. No, the I TV like, like pops up. Yeah, it's a television. Yeah. I prefer the TV in the front. I mean, just the way this is set up is beautiful. Like I like this a lot. The oven in the cabinet. That's so cute. I love these colors. Look at the. Wow. Look at this bedroom. It's got a fireplace in the bedroom. In the bedroom. Oh, it's a big bath. It's got double sinks. 
and a closet in here. This does not feel like a travel trailer to me. No. I mean, other than the ceilings being a little shorter, it feels like a fifth wheel. A lot of these are like fifth wheel setup and it has a king size bed. I love this open space here. One thing I've been seeing a lot with the travel campers is they're kind of making the layouts very similar to fifth wheels now. Still shorter ceilings, but it's okay. When you have bright colors like this, it feels more open. Something like this, I don't know. I'm gonna get some price for you. Do you have a price on this one? I ain't got prices on any of them. Okay. Yo, this thing is huge. Okay, this is the one that we were just in. It's called La a lacrosse luxury light by Primetime. It's got, I believe, three slide outs. You can see right there. Now, something like this, probably gonna run in the sixty to $70,000 range. Don't quote me on that. I think MSRP is about 77,000. Sometimes they say that MSRP, like from the factory, but they, they always give you a lower price. That's why I definitely come check out General RV. These are cool too. You have, you know, camper travel trailers, just like what we saw here. Then you have destination trailers, more travel campers. And then the fifth wheels are the ones that, I guess they're a little easier to tow. We have to have a big truck to do that. I mean, these things are monsters. And you can see the, you know, you get a little bit more of a ceiling. Sometimes you even get lofts. Or even a second floor. May show you one with a second floor. Ooh, what do you think of this one? All right, let's check it out. This is one that would definitely fit our needs. Oh, what? Oh, this is nice. Oh, it has an extra bedroom? Yeah, I don't see an extra bedroom. Oh, is that the extra bedroom? No way. What the heck is this? I thought it was like a, like a coat closet. Dude, this, oh, it's got an extra bathroom. No way. Okay, this is a bonus right here. Loving this. Got a little oh. entertainment center. Look, these light up. These little cup holders. What? Oh, it has Wait. a USB as Why well. Why does it turn off? Wait, does this go up? Oh, it does, look. This goes up like this. So you could have a little bunk. This would be a perfect that little room so for Boston. Cool. Love this little dinette over here. Dude, this is, this is like a five-star hotel. Look at that, with a fireplace. This is amazing. One thing that's really cool about fifth wheels versus campers, I love campers, travel campers. You get a little bit more ceiling height when it comes to a fifth wheel. Some travel campers have some higher ceilings. Not very many. I haven't been in very many of them. Maybe some higher end ones, like from Grand Design. This is definitely like, this is very similar to some of the, what are they called? Those park model? Yeah. Like the park model type campers, oh. destination trailers. Oh. That's what they call it. And they're kind of meant to just stay in one place, that like a mobile sense. home park. This right, I don't care about the rest of the camper. This is where. You liking this one? This is where the magic happens. Is this one of your favorites right here? You know, a lot of people think magic happens in the bedroom. <laughs> hey, check this out. When you have some guests over, got a little loft bed up here. How amazing is that? Love it. That's a big yeah, space up there, too. Huge. That's almost like a, it's bigger than a queen size. Four people can pop. Oh yeah. yeah, maybe a king size bed. Okay, moving on, moving on. Let's check out the bathroom. Ooh, look how pretty it is in here. Our camper that we have is also a fifth wheel, but it's not this big. This is 43 feet. I believe the one that we have is what, like 20, 20, 20 something feet? Like my truck can pull that, no problem. I don't think my truck can pull this. I think my truck maxes out at like 12,000 pounds, which is a lot. You can get a pretty big camper on the back of my truck. Oh. This is like 14,000. Yeah, about 14,000 pounds, so a little heavier. Need like a big diesel truck. How's the room? Wash your dryer hookup. Really? Yeah. Oh, look, it's a king size bed. What the hey? Dude, this is great. It's got so much storage. I don't know. I don't know about you. I love falling asleep to watching TV at times. I love having the TV in front of me. There are some scenarios where, in some campers and stuff, where they have TVs off to the side, and I'm not a huge fan of that, especially in the living room. I love that I could sit on the couch and watch TV in front of me, not like to the side or the corner or whatever. So same thing in here, and has a king size bed. And look at all this storage. Right. You know what gives it all this room too? It's so big is all these slide outs. So that's a slide out. So that gives you a lot of uh, all leg room mm -hmm. versus some of the other ones that we've seen. Mm -hmm. Right, it's, it's very roomy in here. Well, you know what this is called? What? A wide body. Wide body. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but you get all this amazing headroom. And I like, like a, this one. Yeah, this one's, uh, I, I would have to say this one's at the top of our list. This one's my favorite. Oh, we have a lot more to see though. This one's pretty amazing. And like I was saying, oh, by the way, that turns into a queen size bed. And it's not like, it's it's a nice bed too. And these are recliners. Yeah, these are recliners. And like I said, this, this is just my taste. Everybody's taste is different. Some of the campers that I show you, you sit down and then you have the TV off to the side. Not a fan. I love having the TV in front of me when I'm watching TV. I mean, who wants to sit in a movie theater and watch the, you know, the screen off to the side? You know what I mean? We all want those middle seats. So maybe a lot of you are kind of with me on that, you know. But yeah, this is amazing. Loving this place, but we have a lot more oh to God, see. Oh my God, it has coat hooks too. 
That is pretty neat. And that's a motion sensor yeah, right there for the stairs in the middle of the night. Also, this does come with solar power that will power up your fridge and some lights. It won't power your TV. Now, there is an additional wiring that they put, which is amazing if you want to add another 200 watt solar panel. I would imagine that might power up a couple extra things, but yeah, fridge, lights, what more do you need? Maybe a couple outlets. That's pretty awesome. And that charges, keeps the batteries charging. Not enough to go boondocking. I'm going to make a video. Let me know here in the comments if that's something that you want to watch. I'm going to share with you when I'm done picking out the travel trailer or fifth wheel that we end up getting for our property. We're going to be completely disconnected from any wiring or it's going to be uh, what do they call them? Boondocking? What do they call that? Off grid? Yeah. Okay. Off grid. That's yeah, that's what I'm going to say. So I'm going to I'm going to share with you my off grid, which doesn't involve really expensive solar power because I mean, to power something like this, air conditioning, everything, all your appliances, you're going to need probably maybe $20,000 maybe maybe more in solar power which i mean if, if that's a setup that you want that's cool but i have a better idea yeah and it's awesome I have two awnings which is cool a little kitchenette area with uh, oh that's cool it's like a propane stove pretty awesome i would imagine this is probably for storage and well, you could also put a tv there yeah because it says right here there's a cable okay very nice this is really cool i mean if you see one of these in person or maybe it has a similar layout just an idea for you during like game time you know you're out here doing a little camping you could throw some ice in here put your beer sodas and there's little drain holes on the side i don't know if that's what it's meant for but i like that idea there's two propane tanks which is awesome there is a wire up here for a generator it is a little disappointing something this expensive doesn't have a built-in generator but hey, it's all good it has everything else okay so all these that you're showing us laney they're they all have been my favorite like every single one is nice i like the the first one the kitchen, yeah. yeah. On the first one, the one um, that has like the extra little. The oh, you're little talking about your room. kitchen. Do you like your kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so these are fifth wheels. Now we're in our fifth wheels. Okay. Now some of these have like a two bedroom. So this is a mid bunk. Mid bunk. Okay, mid bunk has like a little mini room, right? There's some hardcore stairs there. Very solid, very sturdy. Wow. Look at this. Oh, I love the colors in here. Look, got a little coffee bar too. That's pretty nice. Big Ooh, fridge. It's nice. Oh, this has like one of those like electrical. Oh, it's electric. Oh. Yeah. So does oh, that TV, like, like a TV pops up from yeah, there? Yeah, a elevator. A televator. You have a full residential sofa pull-out bed too. See, this has the higher ceilings too. When you get a fifth wheel or destination trailer versus like a regular camper that we were just in right now, which is still very nice. I don't know. I prefer higher ceilings. What about you? Yes. Feels, uh, feels more like a house. Built-in fireplace and sound bar, which is pretty pretty awesome and i just found out those are actually wired right up to the tvs i thought you had to like plug them in somehow i love this how's it looking there so nice well i like this bathroom okay i think somebody was testing out the bed <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> wait was it you so this is called a crusader by prime time very very nice noise, noise. another favorite for sure i'm really liking the whole mid bunks Thing. Me too, I love that. Oh, oh check this, it's got her low refrigerator. Okay. That's noise. That's dope. Now, is this just storage? Yep. Right here? What are these guys for? So it holds up your storage doors. Ah, right here, so okay. Yeah. Oh, they're like magnets. Yeah. yeah. So. Ah. So instead of the clips, all, usually the old clips used to break. Right. So a lot of people aren't doing clips anymore. Now, is this for a TV? No, this is just storage. Mm -hmm. um, we always joke because there's holes in it, and so you can fill it with ice and beer. Yeah. And it drains out. <laughs> okay. Okay, there is one RV that we're going to look at right now that's probably going to be your favorite. It's my favorite from what I've seen online. Saw a video of it as well. If not seen it in person, it's going to be pretty awesome. Let's check it out. I'm going to give you my professional opinion. So is Lainey, too, and Tiffany. These Sanibels are pretty nice. What's a yucking? What? A oh, you Yukon. <laughs> oh okay. My God. So this is a couple's coach. So it's made for literally to sleep two people unless you want to use a pull-up. Okay. Or for a single guy. Or a single guy or a single gal. Right. So not Sing a single girl. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, the single ladies. Oh, I love this. Don't like the dark colors though, but still beautiful. You get all the residential plants. Oh, that's a big fridge. You could definitely fit a bunch of people in here. Oh, you can fit a bunch. <gasps> And it's nice. Okay, this wasn't the one I was going to show you. I'm, I'm going to save that one for last because that one's my favorite. If I had to choose for like a living room setup, this is by far my favorite right here. I mean, you could just have a whole party. I mean, look at this. 
This is amazing. This is called a, a front living room setup. This oh, bathroom is so pretty. It literally has a potty room. A potty room? It has yeah. a potty room. Another one is for you. Look at that. Other. That's different. You don't really see that in RVs. I, I know. Yeah, if this had an extra bedroom, oh my God. You like the dark colors though? I could get over it. Yeah? I don't care. <laughs> they make a thing called... Yeah. <laughs> see, I prefer like the lighter color cabinets. But yeah, but with this, I don't see there. Oh, look at all this storage space. I and know. that's a washer, washer dryer. dryer. Mm -hmm. Yes, you put a stackable in there if you wanted to. Nice. I love this. Yeah, I could totally live in here. 100%. I love that skylight right there. Better turn on my forehead. Look at this. <laughs> and what is, is this considered like a coffee bar or yeah. more like a desk? Coffee bar, air fryer bar. Okay. There's other places to put things. Right. This is like a full on living room. It is. And I bet you those fold out into like beds. I'm sure they do. At least one of them. This is like an electronic. Both. You can't have both of them. Lazy boy. Does it work? Oh, it's probably not plugged in. Yeah. This. Yeah, very nice. Comes with two fireplaces. In the back, it has more storage than you've ever seen. Okay. I mean, just look at all those cabinets, too. You got tons of cabinet space and a pantry. What's the name of this guy? A Yukon. Okay, this is the Yukon 421 FL. If you're interested in that. Whoa, dude, this is a lot of storage space. Look at this. Oh, it has a toy hauler. No, it's just a pull-out garbage Oh, but you could totally feel like a dirt bike if you wanted in there. Wait, can you? Oh, okay, no, I thought it was... This that would have been smart, crazy. though. But it would have ate into the living space. Oh, my God. This has so <laughs> much storage. Bedroom. Who needs a storage unit? You could literally have that as a bedroom. <laughs> Bam, we got the second bedroom. This could be your bedroom. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen this much storage in a, wow. in a fifth wheel. Yeah, you could totally put a bed there. Be Boston's bedroom. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm yeah. <laughs> Built-in ladder comes in handy. Wow. Two awnings. They really put some time into storage. Hey, more storage up front. Never seen this much storage. Still have some extra. Wow. I mean, there is just no excuse for clutter. Okay, so we're going to look at our favorite one. Now, this one has two bedrooms, right? This has two full bedrooms and two full bathrooms. Two full bedrooms? Whoa. Two bathrooms. Two full bathrooms. So it's not like a half bath, like... No, it's not a half bath, it has a shower in the It has a shower in the second... Well, this one's called an avalanche. And this one has a loft too, right? Yep. Oh, nice. Loft. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Look at that. It has a whole bedroom upstairs. Can I come up here? Like, yeah, is it safe? It's safe for adults. This is like a third bedroom. Check this out. Hey, yeah, you could put all the kids up here if you wanted. Okay, so here's the kitchen area. One thing that I love, I'm gonna tell you what I love and I, I hate. You have a lot of extra space here for living and for sleeping. However, if you wanna get the family together for watching TV, you only have two seats right here. So that's probably my biggest complaint with this one, but there's a lot of room here. <gasps> it's a ghost. <laughs> Paul, let me help you out here. Oh no. Okay, I could just come up to the other side. Oh, something happened with that doorknob. I'm gonna show you the other side of what that looks like. And this is cool anyways, because it's really nice to have another entryway. Where is that? Oh, this is right from the back. Oh, I like this. You're in the yard doing some work. You wanna go in, go to the bathroom real quick? This is pretty cool. So this would be your second bathroom. Right, okay. And it's a full bathroom with a porcelain toilet shower. I mean, like, you, I love the entrance, like, to come into the bathroom. And then this is, this is a whole full bed. Yeah. Is that a queen size bed? Mm -hmm. And you get some room here because it has that pull out. You've got a place, like, almost like, like a little built-in entertainment center. Yep. This is awesome. I love the entrance to the bathroom. I think that's pretty awesome. I haven't been to the front bedroom yet. Going back in, going back in. I think Tiffany's using the toilet. Okay, no, she's not. Oh, this has a double entrance. So in the middle of the night, you don't have to walk through the hallway. You can just roll out of bed and use the bathroom if you got to go. Me, I'm getting up there in age. So, I mean, I got to go to the bathroom a couple times in the middle of the night. This is perfect for me. Ooh, nice king size bed. Huge closet too. Oh, I love this. This is not plugged in. So we have lighting coming on right now. We must have some solar power, which is pretty awesome. We have a place to put the TV. I think we were testing out the bed a little earlier. That's why it's a little messy. This is nice. My only knock though, like I said, have to be the living area, like the living room. If you're okay with having the kids having their own spaces, it works out perfectly. Plus, you know what? If you're watching TV as a family, a couple things you can do here. You can get a couple chairs, put them over there. You do have a dining table. You could use that. Or you could have your kids just go up there and watch TV from up, up there. Maybe. All in all, this one's probably 
one of my favorites. I love it. I love the setup. I love the extra space. You can live, I don't know, four or five people in here comfortably. No problem. Especially like for camping nights. I mean, it's beautiful in here. Love the color. It's nice. It's nice. Even this, like this area is beautiful. It's huge. The only thing that's missing in here is more space. That's what I was saying for the living room. Okay, if you're looking for a itty bitty camper that maybe like a regular car can tow, this may be your choice right here. This is all you need. Let's go inside. What do you think of this one, babe? I think it's horrible. Look at that. So there's a little pop up section right here. Just go ahead and go inside. You know, I'm almost six foot tall, so this is like perfect. Yeah, you're fine. This does come down. You know, it's nice for, for saving space. Got a queen size bed, air conditioning right above your head. Not sure where, I think, okay, that door would probably go right here. Doesn't have a bathroom or does it? Has a refrigerator or like a, it's like a, like an ice box. This is perfect for a restaurant. Yeah, where you can like go into the bathroom or even a truck stop. Where like you your Hyundai would pull this, like no or problem. Yeah, you could take showers at Planet Fitness. Yeah, this is this is pretty awesome. Probably doesn't take a whole lot of gas to pull something like this. It's very lightweight. So all those RVs that we just showed you, we happened to pick one of the ones that we gave you a tour on. Can you guess here in the comments which one we went with? I'm not gonna tell you because I wanna see if you guessed correctly. In the next video, not only am I gonna be sharing with you the actual camper that we picked, but it will be on our land, completely disconnected from anything. I mean, it'd be connected to some. I'm gonna show you, it's gonna be like a big reveal also on how we are boondocking, you know, like, cause we're not gonna have electricity because it takes a little while to get permits for all that. Well. So before being able to get the electrical permits, because that's one of the main things that we do need to power up the RV, we did need to get an electrician to give us a price on putting an independent like pole out there, like a T pole. I got somebody to come out. They wanted to charge me almost $2,000. And at first I thought to myself, like, actually, you know, I'm not going to front. That's expensive. And I did a little research, basically $2,000 for them to bring this pole, which has the hookups and everything on there. Power company has to wire it up. Power company has to put a meter. And all he's doing is digging a hole for this pole. Digging a hole for this pole. Anyways, you know me, I'm a do-it-yourselfer. I'm gonna look online. I mean, you have to do your due diligence. I ended up finding somebody on Facebook. So uh, the gentleman that I'm buying this pole from, by the way, 200 bucks, major bargain. It's only two years old. He bought it for his nursery, but it wasn't enough to power up his equipment. Just wanted to do a food truck, things like that. For me, perfect for an RV. I saved, what, like $1,800 doing this myself. Come check it out. You can see right here, just need a meter from the power company. Easy peasy. Um, he was even generous, gave us a ground cord. Nice, we got our 50 amp connection right there and some regular connections. You could even add on 150 amps total. But now we have to see if this fits in the back of the truck. Hopefully it does. Thank you for helping. Yeah, that's, that yeah. should be good. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on here? Who's gonna drive? She's gonna drive. <laughs> I'm gonna put you face. back here holding this like this. <laughs> Check it out, fam. Got us a pole. Got some wood in my face. Yeah. <laughs> so that little window came in handy because this really is 16 feet long and we're only sticking out, I don't know, what, what would you say, maybe? Not much at all. Maybe a foot, yeah. if that. I mean, probably even less than that. Super nice guy. It's getting dark out. Probably gonna be nighttime before we make it out to our lot, but we're gonna drop this off. This is great. I'm probably not gonna install it until I get the permits and everything for it. Two thousand thousand dollars i saved by doing this 200 bucks 1800 dollars. 1800 i mean but still and this is 150 amps the one that the guy was going to put in the ground for us was 100 amps mm -hmm. so we can even probably use this to power up some barns in the future to heat up the donkeys maybe whatever i mean lights because farm is happening yo so somebody it, it's it's a good thing i jumped on this deal when i did on facebook marketplace because he had somebody that was gonna pay him more money for this poll but i was first so and i guess if i didn't come he was gonna be next and in he's line an honest man so that's good yeah because he could easily told me no we did drive um, like i don't know it with traffic two hours i'm excited I am so excited. But this is not our off-grid plan, by the way, okay? This is this is more for long-term when we do have our, our, our RV just chilling by our house and we're able to, but I'm, I can't wait to share this. It's an idea. I mean, not everybody's gonna be able to do it, but it's gonna work for us to be able to live off-grid for a short time. Okay, here is our property. Right over there, these stakes that are in the ground, that's where I'm building a, it's like a steel type storage shed for, you know, tractors and stuff like that. Oh, is Hamlet back He's there? He's way back there. Let's go see how to Hamlet in the middle of the night. Here goes Hamlet. Aw. Does he just like eat all day, all so. night? Hi, Hamlet. Oh, you're 
Hi, Hamlet. Aw, there's Hamlet. What a cute little guy. How you doing, buddy? Do horses like popcorn? No, they can't eat popcorn. They can't eat popcorn? Hamlet, you about to be so spoiled in like a week. All right, buddy. You have a good night. Have a nice weekend. All right, y'all. I got the pole hooked up to the main. I'm just kidding. No, this is the temporary pole that the builders installed that they wanted to charge me $2,000 for. No. I'm wondering if I can put my pole kind of near this one because I can't hook up my RV to this. Yeah, it's dumb. Builders rules. But is it possible? Here's the pole that I just paid $200 for. It's almost exactly the same. Would I be able to hook up to this pole? Like, I mean, is there a code saying that you can't? I mean, it wouldn't be me doing this, obviously, but I think this is probably where I want to put the camper because it's not far from the house. There's the house right over there. Another reason why I put that pole there too is because I have a camera right on the telephone pole just to kind of keep an eye on the construction. And not only that, but like people want to, I guess it's like real popular for people to steal copper and stuff like that when it comes to new builds. I was out here just like investigating in the middle of the night and one of my neighbors called the cops. Like five or six cop cars rolled through. I mean, like that. And they were like, yeah, there's more coming. Huge felony, I guess, if you get caught on a, a job site like this, stealing. I mean, not even stealing, just trespassing. This is my property. I could trespass all I want. I mean, it's technically not trespassing because I own the property. What was that? People got goats and stuff out here. They're like making all kinds of noises. I'm still, I don't know what I'm doing yet. It's going to be great. Next video coming up, I'm going to reveal the camper that we got. Like I said, take a wild guess. Which one did we pick? Did we pick the small travel camper? Did we go for one of those fifth wheels. Did we go for that beautiful destination trailer? I love that one, by the way. Oh no, let's find out. Hopefully I can be completely disconnected and live off grid for a little while because that's the plan. And I'm gonna share that with you. I love you so much before you leave though, give me a kiss.